Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of uh, Skyward Sword. Now, before we actually go into the temple, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go talk to Beetle, because I just got the slingshot, and I'll be able to go to a shop now, now that I have a ranged weapon. So, I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then we're gonna go inside the temple. I don't want to take too long with this, so... I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste all this time. Like, where is Skylocked? There it is. Dang. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at flying than I was at flying. There we go. I'm here. Hello, sir. Where is Beetle? There he is. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Nope. I was trying to grab it. No. Oh, grab. <laughs> oh, he pulled me up. Yeah, kind of weird to have your uh, shop flying around with a bell to get on. Uh, even though I imagine most people do not have a ranged weapon on them. But whatever. Hello. You look weird. You sound the same like you've always been uh, sounded, but you look a, you look kind of weird. Oh, oh, you've come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Oh, really? Really? Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. <laughs> it would be. Also, th I have. Wait, my max is three hundred. What's this? Oh. That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. It has to be the most useful thing imaginable for an adventure. And yeah, it costs a mere... Oh. No. Oh, please take a look at other things I have for sale. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Oh. That's a life medal. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever uh, holds it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. I'm pretty sure it's a red bar. It's a real bargain at 800 rupees. I don't have that many rupees. Oh. I can't even hold that many. I only held 300, apparently. Oh, please take a look at the other things I have for sale. Yeah, what about this bag here? Oh. That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. That is pretty useful. Say goodbye to all of those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet is stuffed full. Leave no rupees behind. Even you must be able, be able to see just how useful this item is. All for, oh, only 100? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. You have the extra wallet. Your wallet can now hold an additional 300 rupees. Yeah, yeah, I want that. It's only 100 rupees. Oh, thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. What about this bug net? That's a bug net, you know, for catching bugs. Insects, too. Okay, so there aren't many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons when there are uh, when, uh, one with this if there, are, if there are some. Pretty sure you'll make a net profit. You wanna buy them? Yeah, I'll buy them. You got the bug net. Use it to catch bugs and other small things. When you're hunting bugs, remember to poach quietly or strike quickly. And it's an item, so that's nice. Oh, it really suits you. Thank you. Well, I'm not gonna buy these other two things because I'm too poor. Also, I can sleep in the shop. Okay. Um. Ooh. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to do, uh, was to, um, 
to go to Beetle's shop and see what he had. And I'm very glad, because now I have a bigger wallet, which will allow me to have more than just 300 rupees. So, uh, yeah. Now that I've done that, uh, it only took a couple minutes, too. Like, five, five minutes is not a lot of time. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna go into that temple. Hooray! Temple time! Oh, wait, I have to get my bird. I forgot that I have to get my bird out. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Going down. Point out your preferred descent area with and confirm your destination by pressing. Yeah, I would like to go to the viewing platform. Descend into this area? Yes, please. Alright, time to go into that temple. Actually, do stuff. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, I can't just jump up there. Too high. Yeah, I guess I can. Oh. Pow. Yeah. Oh, I have to press A to grab. Wait. I should have also bought a shield while I was there. I'm gonna pause the recording and go buy a shield real quick. It shouldn't take that long. Hello everyone, I am uh hello, I am back. I just bought a shield. I just had to go up there real quick and buy a shield, uh while before going into this dungeon. A wooden shield. I did look at the scrap shop to see what I needed to upgrade it, and I, I still don't have two things needed to upgrade it, so I can't do that yet. Uh, so yeah. But um, I also saw in the scrap shop I could upgrade my other items as well, but I didn't have any of the things required to upgrade them. So oh, cut. Whoa, who that? Who that? He turned into diamonds. Anyway. So yeah. It was only 50 rupees, so. To buy a shield. Oh! Not even at the temple yet. Oh, now we're in the deep woods. <laughs> The D boy. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, it's the guy who calls other guys. Oh wait, that uses my um my stamina when I just. All right. Oh, there's a heart here. How perfect. All right. Uh, that's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. Die, bees! No, I can't kill them. This isn't like this isn't like the past. I can't kill the bees. Kill all the bees. Why are the bees a greater threat than the bokoblins? I was actually scared of them. You can't kill the bees. They're doing the damage. I I do have the net now, obviously, but uh, I don't. I might need a bottle to carry a bug in, and yeah, both my bottles are being used right now. So. E.
Ah, uh, they pissed them off. No, the bees are coming after me. Go away, please. Ah, oh, God, the bees are killing me. Oh, they're leaving me alone now. How kind of them to leave me alone. All right, it's up here. Beginning area. Now I can come back without having to deal with that rope. All right, goblin. No, I should probably just like wail on him more because it's pretty effective. Also, what was that? That's a Goron! Nice! Gorons are just pretty cool. Ah! I have a shield now, you fool. You fool, I have a shield now. Hey, yeah. You don't like me be being able to defend myself, do you? Um, hmm, okay, kind of don't, I feel like I don't want to fall down here. What? He's also trying to balance? You're a Pacoblin, I didn't know you could balance on the thing. <laughs> Luckily for me, hey, guess what? You know, I was gonna say like, man, how the how is Link so good at not falling off that thing? But in this game, he was a knight in training, so I guess it makes sense how he's able to do that kind of stuff. Uh, it seems like sometimes it's just like, hey, you're just some random person. How are you able to be good at things? Like in Ocarina of Time, you're just some random kid from a forest where everyone was like peaceful and stuff. You know, how are you able to do all those maneuvers? And, like I played Link of the Past recently, and it was just like, yeah, you're just some kid. A goddess plume. Rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten era. It's a legendary treasure few will ever behold. Well, I'm beholding it right now, and it was literally dropped by, like, a Deku Baba. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. I don't know if what they're called in this game, but I think they're called Deku Babas in, like, a lot of time, so. I'm just gonna call them that. Um, anyway, why is it that why did the Deku Baba have a goddess bloom thing? Also, I'm supposed to jump over here. That was risky. I could have just died. Perhaps maybe I should have saved. Yeah, I might actually do that. Hold on. Turn it around. Yeah, alright, hold on. I'm gonna pause while, while I save real quick. Already, I just saved, uh, so now, if I do fall and die right here, I don't have to worry about it. Oh. Nice. Aha, I grabbed on this time. Good. 
I mean, I don't think I had to save there, but it's still good that I did. Because <laughs> I just straight up died immediately. Um. Ah! What the? This one's golden! You're golden. You're golden. You didn't die in one hit. You're not normal. Oh yeah. What'd you draw? A jelly blob? It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's use but it's used to make all sorts of things. I think that was one of the things uh needed to make a better shield. So kinda glad I got that. Uh I think the other thing I needed was a monster claw. And oh, it's another Goron. Now oh, there's a face I know. Hey bud. Oh, it's the same one I met earlier. What's up, dude? Yo, it's the same one. Hold up, bud. I need to ask you a favor. Uh, but I want to go over here. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks like something I've seen in those ancient texts. What? Oh, hey, it's got the symbol of the, the place on it. Uh, on the, the, the Skyloft place. If I remember right, this is one of the things that the goddess was said to have left behind for her Hero of Legend. I'm the Hero of Legend. Pretty amazing, right? Even though I even thought of a name for these things. I've kept calling them Goddess Cubes. Makes sense, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Those ancient sects say some real interesting stuff about these things. How'd it go again? Let me see. Uh, summon forth the light from a heavenly blade and made a sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. I see you've got yourself a sword there. Wait, what do you say you try to crack the mystery of the cube together? Sure. Hey, it thinks a billion, bud. I'll try it. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I've willed, I've willed on, but nothing happens. Mm. You know, but I could, I could say the key to cracking this mm. egg is the one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade. Huh. Well, I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Uh, just had to go talk to someone for a second. But don't worry, I did not forget about you guys, and I did not forget about you, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Gorko? I guess I did forget. I forgot your name already. But I'm supposed to raise up my sword in heavenly uh, power. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, raise it up. This guy. Uh, yeah, it did a thing. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing you shot off your sword. Where would you think the cube sh shot off to anyhow? The mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. Techs say there are cubes like that all over this land. Tell you what, you blast many of those cubes you can find. If you find out more about them on the long way, you can come see me. Alright. You're, uh, yeah. I've seen those in the woods. I just didn't know I had to laser beam them. Push this down. There we go. Alright, time to go off into the forest. I'll worry about those cubes later. Uh, but I'm looking I'm looking to actually go into a dungeon right now. Oh well I can do this one. Yeah, they just disappear. A little weird? Sure, but yeah, it's a little weird. Um Alrighty, so here's a bird statue. Uh and Here's the temple, the entrance to it. We're about at 20 minutes. So, I'm not gonna end the episode, but I might have to end the episode while I'm doing the dungeon. So, yeah. 
Die, please. What other jelly, jelly thing? What's this? He who descended from above looked to the star that the bird rising he heavenwards gazed upon and aim your shot there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go save and then I'm gonna go ahead into, um, I'm gonna head into that, uh, that temple dungeon place. All right, so I assume it wants me to shoot that. It seems very shootable. Also looks like a switch from a Zelda game. Zelda switch. All right. All right, just defy gravity. You know, you know, it do, it, you know, it just, it defies gravity, that's fine. Also, cutscene. Some shrooms. Glowy shrooms. Yeah, go into the dark, mysterious cave. cave. That's a very good idea. Sky View Temple. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Oh, there's a bird statue here. Except it's not a bird. Um. Well, no, it's still the same as a bird statue. But there's not a bird on top of it. It doesn't look like a bird. Also, the grass is different. Here. Still pretty grass like, but it's not grass. Also, the only way I can go is down, except for this big door. But I can't really get through there, so I'm just gonna go down here. Oh, that's a bat! I've met you before. That's a spider web. Oh. Neat. What? It's literally one strand, alright? It's not gonna kill me. Or will it? Um. Oh, some trees. Except they don't really look that much like trees. I don't want to be grabbing those cuz once I get 300 and I go back to beetles I wanna I wanna be able to get oh that one's glowing I want to chop the glowing hey I had a root I can't, don't have access to it. Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. Okay. Let's just, uh... That work 
looks like a charm. All right, the switch is just good. The fly gravity, that's fine. Uh, I also open the gate. That's also fine because it allows me to progress. Oh, the door just doesn't magically open for me. I have to actually lift it up myself. That's new. Well, not new in this game. New because of other games, the door would just open magically for you. But no, I actually had to lift it up. Yeah. Scar Sword Link must be pretty strong. He just lifted up that door. Oh. Hello. How's it going? It's like I recognize that I had my. What if. That didn't work. It's like it knows that I have my slingshot out. So what am I supposed to do? He's keeping an eye on my sword. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like you know I can't even do anything. Oh, there's a flag here. He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Oh, it's just telling me to listen to Fee? Oh, it's just like, hey, you want to know how to defeat this thing? Just listen to Fee, you big idiot. Master Lonk, it is likely that I am the servant this tablet is referring to. To help you with your mission, the goddess gave me a massive quantity of knowledge of this about this land. If you find yourself in need of answers, I hope you won't hesitate to call my friends saying, hey, if you target an object with the DL. Yeah, so instead of just telling me how to defeat the eye, it's just like, Hey, yo, you know that glass lady? Yeah, she probably knows. Just ask her. Alright, I'll ask you. This is a mad magical sentry. Has an this magical sentry has a natural tendency to stare at the tip of pointed objects. How's that supposed to help me? <laughs> But it closes its eyes when I pull out my um, slingshot, which is the, literally the only thing I can think of that would work here. Yeah, it's a natural tendency to look at pointed objects. How's that supposed to help me? Yeah, it looks at the end of my sword. Alright, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Hey. You like my sword? What do you mean that didn't work? Yeah, look deep into the sword. Hi, yeah. Bro, what am I supposed to do here? Hey, could you not? Could you just die? Actually, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fee barely helped me. The taboo was like, yeah, uh, Fee, Fee will tell you how to get past this thing. Even though she didn't. She just told me he likes looking at pointed objects. What am I supposed to do with the pointed object, huh? What am I supposed to do, man? Yeah, you look at the tip of pointed objects. What am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to hit you? Because I assume once I hit you in the face, or the eye, I guess, 
You're supposed to like open up and like uh, let me let me go through that door. So you really aren't working. Could you just like do something, please? Please. You call for me, Master? No. No, I didn't. What am I supposed to do? What do you want from me? I have my sword. Alright? You like looking at the sword. Can you please die from it? I'm gonna spend way too long trying to figure out how to do this. Get a bow and you're like looking at the tip of the arrow or something and then I can shoot you in the face? What do I do? I cannot do anything. I, literally, I think that's the only place I can go. Yeah, I don't think I can go up there. Yeah, I can't go through this big door. So yeah, I am officially lost. I spent too long trying to figure this out. What about my bug net? Do you like that? Oh, look at the bug net. Look at the bug net. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I know it's not. You like automatically close your eyes once I pull out the thing, so like He likes looking at It likes looking at pointed objects How is that supposed to help me? Do I put my sword down? Put down sword Yeah, but it closed my eyes. It closes its eyes right when it's about to be attacked. Please die. I actually have no clue how to how to hit this guy in the face. Yeah. If I think you're real smart, I don't know how to kill you. I know how to do that stuff. I don't know how to do this. How to how to fight this guy though? What if I made you look? I 
told the tablet says. You descend from the sky, led your ear to the wise voice of the servant and brought you to firm soil. Yeah, that helps that helps me actually not at all because uh feed did not help uh, help me actually uh, not at all. Alright, nothing's helping me here. What do I do? You close your eyeballs when I try the only thing that comes to mind. Open your eyes, please, I'm begging you, just open them, when I have my bow out, it would make my life a lot easier, please, please, please. Pissing me off, you know that? Yeah? Die! Can you please die for me? Yeah, I think I've spent too long trying to figure out how to open this door. It's probably really boring. But like, I don't know how to... What do I do? Fee doesn't help me at all. Die, please. Somewhere for a different door I need to open or something. That's actually the only thing I can do. Right? What about you? What, what if I shoot this? No. No. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Big dude. Like a switch to open this big old door or something? No. Yeah, okay. Okay, I understand. You don't want me to win. You don't want me to get to the temple. So you made it impossible. Do I make you look around so much you could combust or something? Hey! It's like... Look, look, look! Ooh, it's moving so fast! Whoa, you can't seem to keep up, can you? Die, please. No, no, that just doesn't work either. We're at 40 minutes already? How long have I spent on this stupid eyeball? I've barely gone through the dungeon. I spent 20 minutes on this eyeball. What do I do? Okay.
Said it's a sentry, right? Sentries shoot things, I think. Hey, like shoot at me, and I can block with my shield. Take my shield. It. Here, why don't you like shoot something at me and then, and then like I'll like reflect it back and then hit you in my eye or something? Please? Wait a second. Does just doing that with my shield do some of its health? If so, that's pretty dumb. But okay. Anyway, I give up. <sighs> I didn't. I don't want to look up anything when playing this game. But if the game's just not gonna let me, um, if the game's just not gonna tell me how to. Help me at all with on how to kill this guy. I might just have to look it up. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that between episodes though, cause I kind of we're at four or two minutes. I kind of want to stop recording. So I'll see you guys in part nine. Yeah, part nine, and uh, hopefully I'll figure it out what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, see you then.